Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Oh sh! Not that long ago, TikTok had a really huge trend under mini brands. So for those of you who don't know, it's this thing right here. And the idea behind mini brands is that you get a surprise box full of miniatures of brand name products. And a lot of these products are very North American and some of them are a little international. Obviously, as someone who loves toy photography, I thought these things were the cutest thing ever. But my biggest complaint was pretty much that these things are just display. You can't even open them. Fast forward now, there is a new emerging TikTok trend. And it is under... Shopkins, interestingly enough. This new trend is for real littles Shopkins. And the idea behind this one is also that you're getting miniature versions of known brands. This one seems, at least to me, a little more international. I could be wrong. Let me know what country you grains are from in the comment section below. And let me know which product do you have or not have based on this kit. So the two videos that really got me wanting the Shopkins real littles starts off with Rach Speed. And I have to admit her squealing is just so cute. So I got these and I thought they were like mini brands where you just bask in their glory, but they open. <gasps> so the fact that she got really excited because they open up, that is me because my complaint again, let's hear it. But my biggest complaint was pretty much that these things are just displayed. You can't even open them. So I was pretty sold. But then I saw more videos. And this one is by David Parody one By the way, for those of you who haven't added me on TikTok, my name over there is Salty Crafter because for someone, for some reason, took Nerdy Crafter. Look at me. For shame. That's my name! And as you can see in this video, you're pretty much getting the little canister with the Shopkins item of the shape of the product from the inside. So obviously I needed it for science. No other reason. Believe me. And so when I went to Toys R Us, I picked up both the freezer version and the pantry version. This is my first time working or kind of holding Shopkins, so I really don't know what the quality's like. However, for seven of these packs, I paid $91 plus tax, Canadian, which is about $105. Yes, you heard me. This cost me $105. I spent $105. Did I stutter? I wish. I wish I did. Even though this does seem pricey, inside each one of these, we get eight of the packages and eight mini toys on the inside. So if my calculations are correct, and I say my calculations are usually okay, it would be 75 cents per toy, whereas the mini brands would be $2 each. So you heard nerdy nerd, it's cheaper technically. For those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't make me do it. All right, time to see what we get inside. And so before we go into the surprise bundles in here, this is the one that we can see, obviously, that we get. And it should... Oh, it does open. And unlike the mini brands, the label themselves actually don't have real words. It's just kind of blocked out information. But the logo and the actual item itself do show. And I have to admit, it is pretty satisfying opening and closing it. In terms of the size, it's pretty much the same size as the mini brands. So when it comes to 112th scale for toy photography, Nick, you may not do it. And here's the toy. You're me good. That is absolutely adorable. I really have to admire the shading, just two different colors. Although the paint job on the face itself could use a little bit more love. And does it fit inside? Oh, it does. It totally fits inside. That's what she said. Stop. No. Okay, and as we can see from the label, we can get anything from snacks, drinks, and yes, even shoes. Interesting. All right, time to pop our bringos. I don't know how to open it. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. So 
what we get is this huge strip with the little items on the inside. I really do hope I get the Fruit Loops. I really want the Fruit Loops or the Corn Flakes or the Rice Krispies. Those are on my radar. All right, so how do I open this? This way? Okay, and the first thing we get is Blue Bonnet. I think this is a margarine. I personally haven't really bought it, so let's see what our cute little... Oh, that is also wrapped. That's a lot of plastic. Luckily, they are recyclable and my recycling bin is right by. I need scissors! And, oh, oh, the hair. Oh, that is cute. Oh, okay, so since this is the first time I ever had a Shopkins, I thought maybe it was me, but the texture itself is a little kind of rubbery. It's quite soft. All right, in you go. I really hope that within the same strip, we're not getting doubles. I really hope not. Next, what is that? Beef Franks in a Blanket, Hebrew National. Again, I thought these brands were a little more known to me, but definitely not. I am expecting a wiener in here. Okay, that came out so wrong. <laughs> and, no! Oh, that is cute. Again, I really admire the shading on this thing. Super cute, and we have a pig in a blanket. Is that what it's called in the US? When there's a hot dog inside a bun, I think it's called a pig in a blanket, right? I could be wrong. In you go. Come on, cereal. <gasps> okay, Pop-Tarts. Brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tart. And this here on the outside, is cardboard. Oh, what do we see in the back? Oh, that is cool. So it seems like the side labels don't really give you the information, as you can see, but the front is the product and the back is also the product. And you can open them. See, this is what was missing with mini brands is that they didn't have openable products. Is that how I am so scared because I always end up ruining cardboard pieces. <gasps> Slowly, be gentle, Jackie. Okay. <laughs> and Oh, oh, that is cute. I love the fact that they make the stuffing. <gasps> it's soft. Look at that. So the inside part is really soft. Listen. <laughs> so we can see the stuffing and the face on it is super, super cute. All right, little buddy, you're going in, but I am not closing it because I do not want to lose you or I don't want to ruin the box. Really cute. I actually closed the box. Good job, Jackie. Next we have, ooh, Rice Krispies treats. Oh, birthday cake. My sister Sika loves anything birthday cake flavored. She goes crazy for that. Here's the front. I guess this is the back. I'm not sure. Here's the side and the other side. This doesn't make you crave sweets. I don't know what does. I feel like the wrapping on the inside really isn't necessary since the surprise is already in the box, but okay, so here's the back. Ready for the front? Oh, mm, yeah, not not really not really impressed with this one because Rice Krispie treats are somewhat yellowish. This one here is a little too a little too white, so it could work as a rice pudding, but not as a Rice Krispie treat. You, you're not my favorite. Get out of here. And here, oh, I know this brand. So this is a hot chocolate brand called Swiss Miss. I know that many of your grains are from Switzerland. Let me know if this is a brand that you have over there. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Oh, these chocolates, oh, these chocolates. And our inside little buddy is, oh, oh, you are cute. So we have a little mug of hot chocolate. The question is, is the whipped cream soft? And the answer is, as soft as the rest of the toy. But this part, is a hard plastic. So interestingly enough, the texture of the toys depend on what they are. Why is this so cute? In you go. And then, oh, I think we have a pair of shoes. I could be wrong, but I think this is a pair of shoes. And it is, yes, Skechers. That's cute. So we have a Sketch Air. The box is super cute. Details on it says memory foam. And it is air cooled. Okay, let's see how this box opens up. Ooh, it really does open like a little shoe box. Oh, you are adorable! Oh, that is adorable! Look at that cute little side smile. Okay, that is cute. I'm really glad they added other things kind of to mix the bag instead of just foods. We get little brands of shoes. You are definitely one of my favorites. Get in there. All right, in this bag, we have one more, which, oh, we get more shoes. Okay, this is really cool. So this is another Skechers. Skechers Lights. I don't know this brand. Ready? Oh, it's true. Okay, Shopkins, if you are watching this, please, you don't need to add more plastic on the inside. The surprise is already inside a container. We don't need two of them. And, okay. That is so cute. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I have goosebumps. 
Oh, those are so cute. Look at that. We have the little Skechers little uh, symbol insignia thing. And the detail on the inside. This is so cute. There's even details on the bottom part here down to the footprint and logo down here. Yeah, I'm loving these little shoes. I would get a whole wardrobe of these things. Really cute. Time to check out freezer edition next. So our non-surprise Shopkins, what's it called again? Mini Littles? No, Little Reels. Okay, we can go. Little Reels or Real Littles? Real Littles. Is a good humor Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Do you like ice cream sandwiches more or do you like ice cream cones? Let me know in the comment section below. I personally love ice cream sandwiches this much more. So ice cream cones are here. Ice cream sandwiches up there. And again, the container does open. It looks pretty much the same from the back and front. Nutritional facts removed. Information removed. And our little Shopkins is super cute. Oh, I love her. She's adorable. And as you can see, this one actually shows the squishiness of the toy a lot more. Unlike the cup, this one actually is pretty squishy. And she fits perfectly. Oh, that's why I couldn't close it. It has a specific way. And the packaging where the surprise is, I think this one is actually nicer than the Pringles one. It feels a lot more real for some reason. This is what the back looks like. And turning it around, you get a Klondike. Fun fact, I've seen Klondike bars and Klondike ice cream everywhere, but I've legitimately never eaten a Klondike bar. Am I missing out? Let me know. I don't know if I'm missing out. If I am, I'll buy one. Okay, you know what? If this video gets, let's say 20,000 likes, I'll go out, buy a Klondike and eat it, and then post it on my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. I don't know if you want to see me eat a Klondike bar. I've never had one before. Okay, and, well, that went nowhere. Oh. Again, we get this huge strip. Oh, what is that? Oh, a slush puppy! Oh, that is so cute! That is really cute. They actually kept the social media for slush puppy on here. And the decor on this one is really nice. What flavor is this? Doesn't say. I don't think it says. I'm going to guess cherry or strawberry just because it's red. And the inside is... Oh, another one! Well, I, I should have expected that, of course. So we have the slush puppy outside and the little slush on the inside. This is super squishy and super bendy. Oh, and this part is kind of soft too. But the cup, pretty plasticky. And, oh, oh, I haven't eaten these since I was a little grain. Wait, how do you open this? Which way? So these are popsicles called firecrackers and they have these three colors. Really don't remember how they taste. Really should eat more junk food, or maybe not. Colors from natural sources, that's good to know. This is the side the back, and the other side, which is advertisement of more different kinds of popsicle thingamajigs. Our little dude, or dudette, is... Oh no! That is so cute! It's like it's melting! Look at that! Oh, hang on, we need an empty side. Hang on, I gotcha! Look at that! That is really cute! And even her face is way tinier than the other ones. Look at that. That is absolutely adorable. I love the fact that they added a little bit of a melty side. Even though this is my second box so far of opening this, I have to admit I am enjoying it way more than the mini brands. Again, simply because you can open it and there's an extra surprise. Ooh, briars. Briars or briars? How do you say it? This is a cherry vanilla and the, I, I think I've had this one before where the cherry flavor is actually not that synthetic tasting. So yeah, I like that. Side, front and back are the same and nutritional facts that are also blurred out. And I hope this one is also a little melty. Ooh, that is cute. Okay, she's not melty, but she's hella cute. And she has two little cherries on top. And is she squishy-ish? Soft. Again, rubbery, but not squishy. So still pretty soft rubber. What's that? Morning Star Spicy Black Bean Veggie Burgers. Non-GMO soy. That's some healthy stuff right there. I'm not familiar with this brand. Even though I do buy non-GMO stuff, I'm not familiar with this brand. Oh, that is cool. Look at the texture here. It makes it look like it's a bag. So here's the side, and the other side, and the back. So my guess is this is going to be a cute little burger. Please let it be cute little burger. Fingers crossed. <gasps> it is a burger. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it is a cute little burger. Hi, little burger. You can see the little veggies on the inside. Oh, the lettuce. 
Look at that. The lettuce is super soft. Okay, I think I'm into Shopkins now. Or at least these things. I want them all. Yeah, this is cute. This is adorable. I love my little burger thing. Ooh, I think this is a message. Remember how I said I never had a Klondike bar? Or the ice cream sandwiches? I don't know what's special about them, but I've never had them before. There's the front side. Advertisement on the back. The other side. And the bottom looks like a box. And it's probably gonna be an ice cream sandwich. Kind of like the Neapolitan, I believe. So here it is. I think it's similar to the Neapolitan. Let's find it. No, it is not. The Shopkins people are not lazy people. This one has a bite taken out of it, and this one does not. So you can even tell that they're different molds because this one shapes up, and this one is kind of not as curvy and not as slim as that one. Kudos, Shopkins. Oh, we got another clown. Okay, this, this has got to be, this has got to be a message. Uh sign. That's the word I was looking for. This one is crunch. Oh, I love crunchy things. There's the side, up and down, more advertisement, and nutritional facts. Since this one is a crunch version, I'm really hoping that it has a little texture on top of the cookie. And oh, it does. What? It is cute. So we can see the crunch, which I'm guessing is peanut. Doesn't say. But yeah, that is adorable. See you a little later, buddy. Oh wait, is there texture on the inside? Yes, there is. Seriously, the detail on these toys is really amazed me so far. And what is that? Oh, <gasps> chicken pot pie. Oh no, broccoli cheddar and potato pot pie. I haven't had pot pie in years. It's like a creamy inside of a little pie. Warm, hearty, and delicious. Marie Callender's. See, the label looks familiar, but I don't think I know this brand. Here's the side. Ooh, look at that. Golden flaky crust made from scratch, made with real cheddar cheese. Good source of protein. The other side is the information, and the front and the back are pretty much the pie. Okay, we're getting a tiny pie. Ready? Oh. Oh, and she, and the, oh. oh. And all the stuffings are coming out. You can see the broccoli, the cheese. What's that? Well, the brown stuff again. Carrots, they're not brown, they're, they're orange. Okay, that is cute. That is really, really cute. And again, it's soft, but not like the lettuce from the other one. Alright, so here we go with the next pantry version. The first one that meets us is this cherry Pop-Tart. The details on the frosting, look at the glitter. Oh my god, oh my god. And the frosting sticking out, which is really soft as well. See, they could have gone the lazy way and just made the whole thing a hard plastic, but that is not the case. Pop-Tarts box, pretty standard, and we get the little advertisement slash game. So I'm really hoping we don't get that many doubles, because then that's not cool. First thing, oh no! <laughs> I just said no doubles. We get a Skechers lights again. The inside is probably the same. I guess let's just be sure. And the answer is yes, it's the same. And we have something different, which is Welch's, I think this is grape juice? White grape cherry. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So here's the bottle and how it looks like all the way around. Really cute. And it opens from the bottom. What are we gonna get on the inside? It's gonna be a cup of juice? Yes! <laughs> so we have a cute little cup of juice with a little bit of spillage, and this is really soft again. Very cute. Oh, is that a hole? No. Can we take this out? No. Why do you deny me of little pleasures? Oh, now it's different. I'm glad that we're getting different things so far. Otherwise, I would have been pretty upset if we had multiple doubles. So we have Hunt's Pasta Sauce, traditional style, proudly grown. And this is what it looks like all the way around. And we have, does it actually say anything? Our pasta sauces are carefully slow simmered. Okay, I feel like it is the product description. And what is it going to look like? What is that? Oh, that is cute. Oh, that is cute. I said that is cute. We have a little wooden spoon with a tomato sauce and a little tomato right on top. That is adorable. Very cute. I love her. Oh, oh, we have Pringles now. Okay, the first Pringles we had was the green one. And now, look at this. They have different sizes. So this is the original one. Top looks like the actual top. And this is what it looks like around. <laughs> that is cute. Why are these things so cute? I don't know. This one is just the original, so it doesn't have anything very special about it. Just the shading is very nice. The quality is nice. It is soft, so no complaints. Oh, oh, that's another pot pie. Is it the same flavor? No, this one is a chicken one. So the first one we had was kind of a vegetarian one. This one is chicken. So this is what it looks like in front, side, back, and side, bottom, and top. 
Wait a minute. Okay, so it's like opposite, but it kind of looks the same. Differences are not that big, but it is cute. Not my favorite. I really want cereal. Please let me get cereal. Mind you, Benny. <gasps> oh, I can see it through. I see it! I can see through the bag. My wish has come true. We have Frosted Flakes. I really wanted Frosted Flakes or the, the Fruit Loops, but we do get it. Oh, that is so cool. The top of the box looks like it opens like an actual cereal box. Here's the side, here's the back, and the other side, and the bottom. I love this. Don't break it. Don't break it. And, ooh, ooh, that is cute. Does it move? <gasps> It does! Okay, see this is where meanie, meanie braids need to work on their stuff. So here's the outside, which is a plastic. And then the inside, look. See the cereal? It moves. That is cool. That is really, really cool. I'm so happy with this. You are my favorite. And the last here is... <gasps> no, okay, I thought it was Fruit Loops! <laughs> I saw red and I was like, it's Fru Loops, but it's not. It's Cheez Its. It's okay, Cheez Its, I'll take you. You're not a double. So we have some cheese flavored crackers, and the box is still pretty cute. Top and bottom. Oh, wait, is it me? Or does this look like a ravioli? It kind of looks like a ravioli. It is very, very shiny. I wouldn't be surprised if there was just a little bit of sauciness to it. But the interesting thing about this is that it's also pretty glittery. Is this a special edition one? No, it's a common. Here's the one that came on the outside of the box, so that one we could see. Oh, what? Did they make a mistake? Did they give us two of these? The answer is yes! <laughs> cool, I'll take it. So they totally made a mistake and not just gave us one on the outside, but one on the inside as well. Cool. <laughs> Can they both fit? Yeah. I really love the birthday cake aesthetic here. Our first one is, ooh, what is that? Thick and fluffy double chocolatey Eggos? These exist? That looks pretty scrumptious. Side, back, Belgian style waffles. I want some. And the other side. Oh! <laughs> Here's our little chocolatey waffle. I have to admit, it is a little less chocolatey looking. It's a little more coffee-ish, milk coffee. And it is pretty soft and squishy. I would have expected the brown to be a little darker. Next, ooh, another pot pie. Which one is that? Broccoli cheddar potato. So we have a double. Next, Klondike Crunch, which is the same one that we previously had. So, another double. Next, Breyers. This one is vanilla chocolate strawberry. So, Neapolitan. Super cute. Here's what the packaging looks like. Oh, 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 you are cute. Oh, you are adorable. Why? Look at it. It is snuggling next to a smaller scoop. And there's a strawberry, and I'm guessing this is like a vanilla, supposedly vanilla bean flower. We have a little spoon. Oh, that is a scoop. Oh, why? Yeah, you're one of my favorites. Next. Ooh, I love cheesecake ice cream. I haven't had it in a long time, but this looks absolutely amazing. Here's what the box looks like. Curious what this one's gonna look like. Oh, 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 three of them! I got a little excited. Okay, calm down, calm down. You're excited, not me. It is cute. Okay, that is super cute. So we have three scoops and three different faces. Honestly, they really could have gone the super lazy route and made all the molds the same and just changed the colors, but they didn't do that. Thank you. Now I'm curious. Is that a special edition? Oh, it is a rare. Not an ultra rare, but it is rare. Ne oh, what is it? That's a bag. That's a bag. Morning Star Farms. Okay, this this is starting to look familiar. This is a There's a toy inside this bag, which means I can open this mini bag to get another bag to get another toy. Is this a special edition? Oh! Okay, so this one, the Morning Star Nugget things, the color is pink. Here's pink, and pink is ultra rare. We scored an ultra rare. So here it is. Packaging looks really cute. And here's the back. Look at that. We get to open it. Wait, does that say vegan? Oh, veggie chicken nuggets. I get it. It opens for real. Oh no. Part of me is, is really upset that I'm opening this, but it is for us. Are you kidding? Okay, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. Not only is this little thing opening, but we have a sealer. Look. 
we have like a little Ziploc on the inside. Can you come out? Okay, the good thing is it's not a bag in a bag. Come here, come here. There you go. Here are the cute chicken nuggets. I love it when these toys are kind of like interacting with each other. That is really cute. All right, you're going back in. And we can close it like a Ziploc. Check that out. Yeah, impressed. And another slush puppy. This time we have the green one. And it's pretty much the same thing as the red one, except it's green. My guess is green apple. And here's the one that we get in the front of the box that we see. In case you don't remember, at the front of every box, we do see at least one of the sets that we do get. And of course, I chose one of each. And we do get white grape juice. The ones that are juice seem to be pretty much similar, except a different face and color. In you go. Our first one is... Yes! Oh my gosh, Chef Boyardee! I still love Chef Boyardee so much. And then I feel like they changed the recipe. And then that was confirmed when they made a throwback can, which boasts that it is the original recipe. If you look in the back, it does say it's made with Angus beef. So interestingly enough, they did change their quality. Now I know why I don't like it anymore. And here's what it looks like on the outside. Very cute. I love it. I hope it's not gonna look like the other thing that looked like a- oh no, oh no, that is very different. All right, that is- it has a really smug look on its face, like... And we can see the little bit of the beef over here. It's not as tex- 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 textured. Wow, English! You showed up late today. It's not bad. I'm getting better. It's not as textured as the other one that I called a ravioli. By the way, all of these little toys can sit and stand on their own. And what are you? Club Original, light, flaky, and buttery. These look like crackers. I don't think I know these. They kind of remind me of the sets of crackers that come with either peanut butter or cheese. So I don't know if that's exactly the same thing, but that is pretty cute. Oh my gosh, this is such a pain in the butt. And, oh <gasps> no! Okay, that is a cute idea. So the little crackers themselves, there's three of them. Obviously there's just one face, but the fact that they layered multiple little crackers next to each other, that is a cute and clever idea. Whoever the designer is for these things, honestly, kudos. I keep saying it, but I am genuinely impressed with this product. Next we have another baggie. Fruity snacks. Is that a special edition? <laughs> I keep checking. I'll find it, hang on. No, this is a common. So since I know they already have a kind of, what's it called? Zip in the middle. I just kind of want to make a clean cut this time. Look at that, it's like a Ziploc. You can seal it back in. Oh no, no, don't tell me they put a bag inside a bag. No. Oh, oh, is that a gummy? Well, gummy looking. No way. Okay, that is super cute. I absolutely love the look on this. And yes, it is super, super gummy-y. Look at that really cute. They're cute. But we really didn't need a bag inside a bag. It's just too much of a pain in the butt. Honestly, my shoulders are killing me because I'm like constantly trying to go around the camera. Wait, there's another baggie. What's this one? Mother's Circus Animals. So these are cookies, frosted cookies. I think I've heard of the name Mother's, but I don't think I've ever personally tried them myself. And we get another bag in a bag. What? I used to love animal crackers as a little dream. A camel! <gasps> My people! For those of you who don't know, I am of Egyptian origin. So camels... Camels are really scary, by the way. If you've ever been on a camel, they get up in a very scary place. It's like you're gonna fall. So we have frosting in between each layer of creature. That's cute. And I really love the face on that one. It is extra cute. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. Not biased. Not at all. In your go. Next, what is that? More Welches. This one is white grape cherry. Wait, didn't we already have that one? Yes, we do. It's a double. And then we have another, oh, another pair of shoes. I don't have these ones. This one is also Skechers and they're called Twinkle Toes. I light up. I highly doubt these ones specifically light up. The box is a little wonky. Yeah, the box is not very good on that one. I think it's because the box this here wasn't placed properly. And... Oh, these are so bling! Look how glittery this is. It's so glittery, the camera's like, I don't know what to focus on. Is the glitter coming off? Yes. So as you can tell, the glitter is coming off. So it's not exactly ideal, but it is really cute. I am loving these shoes. I want, I just want to display all of these tiny shoes in my room. Oh, these are so cute. <gasps> the details, 
the details. Look at that. Go in there. I'm gonna fix your box later. And oh, we get pudding! Snack pack pudding. I've definitely had these snack packs before when I was in school. And this is what the box looks like. Chocolate vanilla. Oh, okay, half and half. Yeah, I didn't have that one before. Really cute. Oh, wait, is there two in here? There's two? Say what? And according to the little guide, this one is an ultra rare. We're getting some good ones. And our first character is... Oh, oh, look at those cute little face. Our second character. If they're not BFFs, I don't know who is. I don't know if it's on purpose that this one is a little lighter than that one. So I'm not sure if it's inconsistency in their painting or their pigments. But they're cute. So I'ma take it. And they have their own little compartments. Oh no. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> hey, I'm still a salty crafter, okay? Just because I'm sappy doesn't mean I have no salt. Because I am full of salt. But these are so cute. <laughs> We are down to the last two, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one because I really, really want a Fruit Loops. I mean, really want a Fruit Loops. This one, my little grains, I'll tell you what I'm doing with it at the end of this video. By the way, tell me where you live and whether or not your cereal section is as intense as us here in North America. Here's the one we get at the front of the box, which is Welch's Concord Grape Juice. Oh, grape jelly. They make juice jelly? Someone tell me that's true, because I want it. And this is an adorable little jelly. Look at that. It's actually pretty squishy. That's so cute. They give us a second one. You saw nothing! All right, we didn't even give us a second one. That's way too cute. All right, our first one is, ooh, another pair of the uh, Skechers Air. So we have doubles. I want my cereal. Give me my Fruit Loops. Next is... What is that? Oh, I saw the Kid Cuisine! I really wanted this one. It's kind of like the Lunchables where it's really unhealthy, even though they make it seem healthy, but it's not healthy food. And this one is All-Star Chicken Nuggets. It's pretty much most of it is carb. This is what it, the box looks like. That is so cute. I love it! Don't break the box. Don't break the box. And our little toy is, oh, that is so cute. I love the fact that the plastic on top really looks like a wrapper film kind of on top. Does anything shake? No, it doesn't. So we have our little chicken nuggets, our mac and cheese, our pudding and corn. That is cute. This is probably one of my favorites. Wait, does this open? I don't think it's supposed to open. Let's keep it closed. You are officially one of my favorites. Next. What are you? Oh, another Pringles. But this time it's cheddar cheese. This is what the box looks like. And it's similar to the red one, which is a bigger box. Whereas the green one is a chibi one, which means tiny. And, hmm, it's kind of similar to the other one. Nothing special about it, just that it's a little more yellow. I guess to represent the cheese, but it would have been cool to have like little cheesy bits on top. And this one, it, ooh, <gasps> ketchup, yes! Okay, we get ketchup, I love ketchup on almost everything. Being Canadian, we have ketchup chips. I am sorry to the rest of the world who do not have ketchup chips. I'm sorry, which is also Canadian. So this is what the ketchup container looks like. It's pretty much very, very plain compared to the other boxes so far. And uh, this is harder to get out. Well, that is tiny. Ooh, so this one kind, well, this one's pretty squishy, but it also kind of looks like the Hunt's tomato little blob. Not quite, but we still have a little tomato on the side here, and it is pretty squishy. Not my favorite. I feel like they could have been a little more original on this design, but we get ketchup. Next is <gasps> the same thing. I thought it was like pizza pockets, but no, we get a double. Next, we get more waffles, thick and fluffy, except this one here is original. Here's what the box looks like pretty similar to the other one and our little mini one is this cute little waffle I'm not sure if this red part was on purpose or something happened and we have little raspberries not my favorite design could have been cuter especially if it's the original i would have expected perhaps butter not sure where the raspberries come from but i'll take it and Blue bonnet. We get more margarine, so this is pretty much the same thing like we had also the double. I am kind of sad I didn't get the Fruit Loops, even though I went through the last of the pantry. But here they are. I really think that these, for me, are better than mini brands because they do open and you do get an extra toy on the inside. Let me know what brands you've never heard of before in the comment section below because I'm really curious what food is like in different countries. For example, Egos and Hunts. We do have these brands back in Egypt, too. But wait, we have a sponsor. Today's 
sponsor is ExpressVPN. For those of you who don't know, a VPN is encrypting your data on the internet. So it's pretty much comparable to sending a postcard by mail, where everyone can pretty much read it, versus putting an envelope around that postcard. And the reason I really like ExpressVPN is because I was already using it before the sponsorship. So it's a product I already believe in. The way I use ExpressVPN is by being able to log into different countries, since I'm in Canada, I can log in and use the internet like an American citizen, which means, yes, Salty Crafter can do shopping on American websites that we don't have here in Canada. Oh yeah, Salty Crafter's really having fun hunting down those crap kits. The other way I really love using ExpressVPNs is that I do travel to Japan quite often, and when I'm on Netflix, I get to watch my favorite shows while I'm in Japan. But when I come back to Canada, ExpressVPN lets me log in to a Japanese address so I can watch my favorite animes and Terrace House. I've used other VPNs, but ExpressVPN is really cool because it really has one of the fastest speeds, so it was really consistently way better than the ones I used previously. They do have 24-7 customer support, and they've been rated number one multiple times by huge tech review things like TechRadar, CNET, and The Verge. So if you're interested, check out how you can get three free months by clicking the link expressvpn.com forward slash nerdycrafter. Thank you ExpressVPN for being a sponsor. I already love this product, so hey, I'm just telling you something I already like, and it's a sponsorship. If you want to see what's inside this one, follow me at Salty Crafter on TikTok, TikTok, and I will be unboxing it there. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.